So that's the situation in America, but what about here? Is Britain's tech industry similarly sexist? With me now is Anne-Marie Imaphadon, last year's Young IT Professional of the Year and founder of a project to inspire women into science and technology. Well, is it as bad here and why? It is as bad, but not for the same reasons. Uh, we do have a culture that isn't as welcoming um, and isn't as supportive um, and isn't as meritocratic as maybe it should be within technology companies. So we have a lack of sponsorship for women in these companies. We have a, a lack of them being hired for roles that they actually are you know, capable and more than capable of doing. And we have uh, a lack of them being given positions of responsibility where they can then you know, get on and feel fulfilled in their roles. Are fewer women seeking out this career or not? Absolutely. Um, yes, I mean, we've, we had the pipeline problem um, and they mentioned it there in the, in, the, in the VT, but I don't think that that's the entirety of the problem. Well, why do you think that is? I that mean, we it, don't have many of yeah. them going in. I think that there's a lack of role models, there's a lack of understanding of what the technology roles are um, from parents, influencers and, and from the girls and the children themselves. And is there an off-putting culture? Uh, but that's not visible to them at that age. So they're not able to see that culture. It's when you're actually in the industry and you hear stories of women being called maybe the C word at work or women not being given um, well, you've roles. you've heard of that yourself. Absolutely. Uh, women not being given roles because they don't tie up their hair when they're, they're at work. Even women being harassed at work um, and, you know, being shunned after they've reported it or, and gone to the HR who should really be on their side. I mean, that makes the technology industry sound worse than... The rest then of it the is, absolutely, because that's never happened well, to me. Well, why do you think that is? That is, is there something about, I mean, is there something about geeks? Possibly. <laughs> something about the imagery that we've had around geeks, around maybe how they're portrayed in the media, um, around certain um, TV shows and certain films, maybe showing one side of geeks um, and their, their culture and not showing that there are normal geeks, there are good guys that work in technology, there are very um, inclusive people. So, so what do you think those big companies should do? I think they definitely need to be sponsoring a lot more, sponsoring these women. We have a lot of talk about mentoring schemes and networks. We need to go that step further and have people put their necks on the line to promote these women, give them the responsibilities that they're due. Um, but also, I think we need to have a culture of accountability where people aren't bystanders, as they've been called, where they do call out, where, where you see those emails coming around from, from people like Evan. Um, and, and is race a similar problem? I mean, you're, you're, you're a black woman, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you doubly rare? I am. <laughs> I am doubly rare. Um, racism does show its head in various forms, um, but I think that there definitely, there's a problem with diversity, generally. Um, so if you look at the Google n uh, numbers, you can see that most of them are what we call pale, male and stale, and they're a, of a certain race, of a certain gender and of a certain type. And if you don't look like that, then it's almost like, oh, this culture isn't ready for you. Um, so I think we need to be definitely more diverse in our outlook and how we interact with our colleagues. Well, thank you very much indeed for coming in, Anne-Marie Imafton. Thank you.